in this video we are going to see all the commands related to table just like the how to create table how to drop the table how to add the column into the existing table how to describe the table and all stuff so that is a topic which we are going to see in this session so let's begin So guys, let me explain all the commands related to table, just like how to create the table, how to alter the table, how to drop the table and all stuff. Okay. So let me begin with the very first command, which is nothing but your how to create the table in Cassandra database. Okay. So as you can see on the euro screen, this is the syntax of the uh, create table and this is also syntax of the create table okay now let me explain this syntax one by one so as you can see on the your screen this is nothing but your keyword this is the table name and this is column name and this is data type okay what data type you want to give and rest of the column in a similar way i have created okay now over here guys one thing i would like to tell or i can say that in order to create the table we need to have at least one primary key in table without primary key we cannot create a table in Cassandra database okay so this is the one thing you have to remember and primary key should have at least one partition key so that is the two prerequisites you need to take care okay now let me explain over here what exactly this primary key mean and what all these columns are there okay so guys always and always if we do not mention bracket like this as you can see over here uh, over here then always and always first column will be partition key okay and rest of the columns will be your cluster key column so this is the thing you have to take care now you can question over here what exactly partition key mean why we required so partition key is nothing but it is used to identify the node where exactly we need to write the data or Cassandra needs to write the data okay so that is the purpose of the partition key another thing over here what is the purpose of the cluster key uh, purpose of the cluster key is nothing but in what order we need to write the data so how the Cassandra will write the data in which order first what it will do it will write in this order first department wise and then salary wise okay so over here data will be ordered in the fashion of department number and salary okay so this is how it will be written into the partition so this is the first syntax now if i want to make a composite partition key then how i can make it i can make it like this over here two partition keys are there employee id and salary and rest of the things are cluster key okay so this is the only one difference between this syntax and this syntax okay another syntax could be this uh, primary key uh, syntax can go over here so like that also you can create but i would like to follow this syntax let me roll back everything so i would like to follow this syntax now let me create one table inside my cassandra database but before that i have to connect my sqlsh sqlsh so this is how you can connect okay now uh, let me use my key space which is nothing but your i have earlier created uh, which is nothing but your this key space okay this key space i have already created and how i can list down all the key space in my table uh, or i can say then in my system so i can list down describe describe key spaces this is how i can uh, describe okay and this is the key space we have created in our last session so i want to use this one only okay inside this key space i want to create table so how i can create i can create like this let me copy paste this syntax so i have created one table over here now let me clear over here now let me see whether the table has created or not for that what command i can use i can use this command tables so it will list all the tables available inside 
this key space okay so you can see over here this is the table we have created just right now now if i want to see the definition of this table then what command i need to use i need to use this command okay so you can see over here these are the columns available this is my primary key and you can see over here it is clustered order by this one and this one okay so data will be written uh, in the order of first name and your employee date of birth okay so this is what the definition and you can question over here what all this stuff so guys uh, right now it is not right time to explain all these things i will explain in the upcoming videos okay so let me clear over here now let me go to the next command which is nothing but your describe table we have just right now seen how we can add the column into our table so this is how we can add the column into our table so over here what you need to do alter table and then table name add keyword and then column name and what data type you want to mention okay so you can do like that so one column got added okay now let me show you over here so you can see over here this column got added over here so let me clear over here now if i want to change the data type of my column then how i can do it i can do it like this alter column name and type and then what data type you want to mention or you want to change okay so let me run this also so this is also got successful now over here one thing i would like to tell that uh, guys you cannot convert uh, which is not compatible data type means uh, i cannot convert from varchar to integer okay it has to be similar way or i can say that data type should be compatible means over here varchar uh, is compatible to text and text is compatible to varchar but over here i cannot do text to integer or integer to text like that so this is the thing you have to take care okay now how to drop the column from the your table so this is how you can drop the column from your table so over here table name uh, what operation you want to perform and what column you want to drop so this is how you can drop now if i will show uh, definition of this table then you can see there is no column like this okay so this is how you can drop the column now let me move to the next command which is nothing but your drop okay so how you can drop you can drop like this drop table and table name so this will drop the table now if i will describe then it will not give anything so let me describe over here so let me describe there will be no table over here describe tables so there is no table available inside this key space okay guys so this is how you can perform uh, create alter and drop operation on the table so guys that's all for the day and i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed this video then please don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel for the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching for the video i take care